everybody i just thought i would share this that i just used someone's own logic against them to beat them at their own argument i posted a thing that said that um camilla's basically stole trump's text on tips thing which she did um which i've already done a video about my thoughts on the no text on tips thing but Trump made a post that Camilla stole his idea, which she did, and said that the only difference is he will actually do it while she is just lying about do, doing it. Anyway, I posted that, and someone said that they don't want to have politics involved because their convention, a comic book convention, is supposed to be a safe space. And I just told them that, uh, I told them by your own, that comics have historically always been about exercising opinions through the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States to exercise opinions using the first amendment of the con the constitution has the first amendment for freedom of speech and comics have historically always been used in political mannerisms they've always been used for political ideologies to be um And opinions to be discussed in all throughout um, the history of comics. Comics have always been from historical speech a form to exercise your First Amendment right, freedom of speech, to display ideas and opinions on political issues is what I pretty much said said something of that nature and when I did that I basically used his own logic against him and said that since that is true you can't even have comic books at a comic book convention and you cannot have a cosplayer well, I'm adding this now, but you can't also cannot have cosplay at a convention because books, movies, comics, video games, all are ways to address via the First Amendment, freedom of speech, political ideologies and opinions through those books, games. Through those books, those games, those comics, those movies, and through your own actual cosplay, like, for example, Captain America. I mean, just Captain America has been, he's literally the symbol of Captain America. Superman is literally truth, justice, in an American way. Then, so many different people have became president in both the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe that were characters of the universe. Several characters ran for political offices and held political offices. So, by definition, comics, books, movies, television shows have always been about political, economical, social, religious, etc., 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 ideas and ideologies and opinions of the artists, writers, and editors, and so on and so forth, and have always been politically motivated and... <laughs> 
are still politically motivated to this day. So, the bias of this person was obviously showing because I posted a, a, a tweet or whatever from Trump. He tries to claim if I was trying to post something pro Kamala that he would have said the same thing, which I doubt it. I 100% doubt that. Because the industry is left-leaning. Doesn't mean it's all lefties in the comics industry. Uh, but it is left-leaning. It is A lot of comics are woke. A lot of the Marvel movies, DC movies, are woke. They have agendas that are politically motivated. So, for him to hold a convention to has a, that would be for a safe space that doesn't have any politics involved, he would have to ban all the comics, all the cosplaying, all the movies, all the music, and so on, all the books, all the games, and everything. You couldn't have one. The whole entire industry is motivated by political aspirations and politics. The whole entire business of books, the whole entire business of comics, the whole entire business of movies, the whole entire business of games, the whole entire business of anything is exercising its First Amendment God-given right to free speech addressed and put in the Constitution. All of those exercise both freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and our power of the press, which we, the people, are the press. So, matter of fact, what I'm doing right now is part of the First Amendment and the power of the press. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing an editorial. So, that all being said, to have a convention to be political, to have a non-political free convention, to have a political free convention, you have to get rid of everything that the convention is actually about, which is comics <laughs> and fantasy and sci-fi and books and games and comics and cosplay. and You can't do it. It's impossible. The whole entire convention is that. If you didn't know and realize that politics and religion and ideologies and all that is in everything, you are blind because it is in literally everything from books, movies, magazines, TV shows, talk shows. Uh, everything has political connotations and ideologies in it. And since the left, the woke left, for that, is majorly the ones in control of many of those industries and aspects, the politics would be swayed probably more left to center than right to center at any and all conventions comic book related that's just because of how the left woke left has infiltrated everything and how the majority of all these corporations that are letting the woke left control them has ownership over the media and thus the media is biased 
because we all know that there's like that there's like all these thousands of corporations they're really only run by like 23 or something like that major corporations which are secretly run by I think just 10 families and they secretly basically run and operate and control everything the majority of businesses that's why small businesses matter because the majority of major corporations even the ones that are supposedly competitors with each other are connected to each other by being owned by the same elitist establishment groups that are trying to control us and are controlling us. Anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves Jesus God. Jesus the Lord. Jesus King. Jesus ruler of everything. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And Jesus loves you, Jesus God, Jesus the Lord, Jesus King, Jesus Ruler, everything. And have a great, wonderful, blessed, amazing day. Comics. They've always been political. You can't have a comic con without it involving politics. Politics. Oh, and he had the audacity, just to side note, to say that politics is a inclusive. Or, uh, I told him, no, politics is actually exclusive because it's the way democracy works. By allowing everyone to have the right to vote in our republic. And it is how we debate and exercise Debates and exercise ideas through debates via the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Free speech, which is not a, the, the, the rights in the Constitution, again, they're not the rights for given to the people by the government. They're the rights given that are granted to us by our divine creator, God Almighty, and that the Government cannot take away from the people. Yeah, that's how it works. Anyway, later. Blessed day.